so this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That door is really bothering me. I'm gonna close it. So today I have a hair video, which yeah, it's unusual for me. I've done one hair video and it was a massive hit. It's like one of my highest viewed uh, videos in general. So I'll link that down below if you haven't already seen it. It was for the Babyliss straight and brush, which I love. Uh, today though, I'm gonna talk a little bit and direct you through how I pin curl my hair. As you know, I have naturally curly hair, you'll see it, it's crazy. But since I got a cut up short, I found it harder to style. I know that sounds kind of strange. Everyone makes out that when you have shorter hair, it's easier to manage, but which isn't necessarily the case. Sometimes it's really difficult. Uh, so I do find it hard sometimes to figure out how I'm gonna style my hair. But thankfully my pin curl technique still stands. I'm in no way a hairdresser and actually, Doing my hair frustrates the life out of me. It's like I'm all thumbs. I, you know people say for dancing that they have two left feet. I've got like two left, well, I actually, I'm left-handed. So I have two right hands. But today, all I've used is a curling tong. That's kind of it. You, you can really use any curling tong you want with this look. So what I've done is, you'll see, uh, washed my hair, just dried it a little bit, just to kind of calm it down a bit, I guess. <laughs> and then I've used my Andrew Barton hair curling tongue. I've had this for years. I've also used a glove that I got in the with the Babyliss brush. This glove here which is really really handy. I always and even in this I still I burn myself all the time. I'm really clumsy when it comes to anything hot. I'm going to talk over this video because it just makes more sense for me to do that. I really hope you enjoy it. Maybe you can use this for New Year's to go coincide with your New Year's eye look that you'll see at some stage. Let's get into the video. Hope you enjoy. So I'm just starting off like I normally do with my Revlon Unique One Spray and popping that through my hair. My hair is dried a little bit so it's a little bit more knotty than it normally would be. I'm then taking one of my brushes and just brushing out my hair and making it nice and smooth. And, and then I'm just going to pop the dryer on it because I just want to kind of calm it down a little bit. I'm leaving a slight little bit of wetness in the ends of it just so it'll hurl, hold the curl. This is the tongue that I'm using, it's the Andrew Barton one and this is my glove I was talking about. I'm just starting off here by sectioning off my hair as I normally would do if I was blow drying it or straightening it or whatever. Popping a couple of clips into it here and then going to my just married, my little wallet that my Auntie Mags got me for the wedding. And this contains all of my Kirby grips or whatever way you want to call them. Um, that's just what I use. And I'm using a couple of these kind of clips as well to hold bigger sections of hair. And then I'm just using one of my little small black kind of grips as well. They're just really, really handy. So I'm not using the kind of, I don't know, grip thing on the tongue. I'm just using the actual tongue itself. So I'm popping the hair around it. That's, this is where the glove comes in really, really handy. And I'm just holding that there for, I don't know, I don't really count the seconds. I just see how long it takes for the hair to get really, really hot. And then I just kind of pull the hair out and clip it as it is. So that's the curl. So this is where I end up being like, you know, all thumbs. <laughs> I find it really hard to kind of get these clips in sometimes. So I really just fold the curl up and clip it in and let it kind of sit there for a while and let it cool in that shape, I guess. And that helps hold the curl. And of course I'm burning myself here. So I'm just doing this again on this side. So I'm gonna speed it up from here. And I really just work my way around my whole head using my Kirby grips. I just find that the back of my head when I, my hair is as short as it is, um, is even more difficult to do, it drives me crazy. So that can be a little bit tricky at times and I end up burning myself a lot more. So I'm just continuing the same thing here. So you'll see how I'm holding the curl in the same way as it was when it came off the tongue and literally just pinning that in just the way that the curl is. So at this stage, I'm nearly finished my whole head, but this part is really, really important. 
I take the middle section, kind of the middle strip of my hair, and I pull it towards my face, and then I section it off. So this, <laughs> I think anyway, this is something that gives me a bit of volume on the crown of my head, and I curl the hair towards my face and obviously then pin it there as well. I have another little trick that I'll show you in a little while, but that's one of my tricks for keeping the volume on your head because the last thing you want is like a big flat kind of scalp and um, curly hair at the bottom. It's just kind of very like ringletty or something. And again, with this one here at the very front, I'm just curling it away from my face. Lovely roots right there that I need to get seen to. This is where I start to lose my cool. You can see here, I'm just like, sometimes I just can't even like figure out my hair. <laughs> So that finishes us off. I'm just gonna fix one or two that have fallen down because I'm brutal with clips and hair in general. So at this point, I'm gonna douse myself in hairspray just to really hold that curl. And I'm gonna go off and do some housework. <laughs> so I'm back after putting on a couple of washes and doing a few bits around the house. If you're getting ready to go on a night out, this is really, really handy to do while you're doing your makeup. So maybe just pin your curls, do your makeup and then take them out and they'll help. Um, it'll just help hold your curls for the night. So these are different to like curl and tongue curls. They do come out a little bit more random, I suppose. So what I like to do then is just kind of manipulate them a little bit with my hands and then go through it with my brush as well and just kind of soften them out and have them more of, of a wave than an actual curl. And then this is my big trick. This is what I do. I change my parting or my split in my hair just to give myself a little bit more volume on the top of my head and just so you have that really nice kind of bit of oomph <laughs> in your hair and just fix up the curls as you go as well. You can also recurl any of them that you're not overly happy with. So there were a couple here that I recurled with the tongs and that just helped to kind of, I don't know, create the look that I wanted for this particular hairstyle. So that's kind of it guys, almost. Um, I hope you liked this. The finished look is coming up now. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already done so, like and subscribe and that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye!